Hi, I'm Rob Boyle from Drive for Success. I'm in my Sun City home office, and today's golf lesson is about tournament watching. Welcome back. Watching a golf tournament with PGA pros will totally help your game. You are seeing the best players strike a ball and you are learning how they manage a golf course. How can you not improve? Over the years, I've attended many golf tournaments. Just last week, I attended the WM Phoenix Open and watched Nick Taylor win the 72 hole event in amazing fashion. Last year, I volunteered at the CPKC Women's Open in Vancouver. It's so much fun. In this video, I'll show you a PGA event I attended in Los Angeles in 2023 called the Genesis Invitational, hosted by Tiger Woods. I had an absolute ball watching the players at the iconic Riviera Country Club. You don't necessarily have to travel a long distance to see a PGA event. You can simply watch it on TV. As an example, here's a PGA event where you can watch and learn from the comfort of your living room. Oh, I, I didn't realize my son panned over to me as I was asleep. I do tend to fall asleep in front of the TV. If you physically travel to see a professional event, however, you will not fall asleep and you will learn so much. Watching a PGA event starts with the planning stage. You should buy tickets online, plan to stay at a hotel nearby the site, read about who is playing, prepare for inclement weather, and so on. Here's a video where I stayed at a local hotel in the LA area the night before I went to see the Genesis event. Hi, it's 4.30 in the morning. I'm showered and shaved and I'm ready to head out the door to go to a parking structure a, in which a shuttle will take me to the Riviera Golf Course. The early bird catches the worm. What I meant about the early bird is true. You gotta get up early to avoid the rush hour traffic. I find it's just nice to be early regardless. Here's a bit more. I just arrived at the parking structure here in Santa Monica. Uh, just awaiting for the bus to shuttle me over to the golf course. In the meantime, I'm going to put some sunscreen on. I've got my hat. <laughs> I'll uh, grab a quick, uh, quick breakfast sandwich before I head out, and we'll see you at Riviera. Here's a still clip of the bus ride everyone was on. There were many shuttles to the course that day. Your tournament watching and learning starts right there. There were people on the bus talking about what Rory was doing with his golf swing, how Tiger Woods is playing with the injuries he's had, and so on. I chatted with a wonderful lady who was sitting next to me about how she watches the event. She had been coming to the tournament for years, and I was getting an inside scoop on where to go. After the bus ride, I entered Riviera. Well, I got through the gates and I am walking down uh, one of the fairways here at the famed Riviera Golf Course. It is absolutely magnificent out here. It's a great morning too. Uh, I'm walking towards the clubhouse. Actually, I'm just gonna spin around so you can see the famed clubhouse just over my right shoulder there. Many golfers have walked through that clubhouse. Beautiful morning. The clubhouse was a bit washed out in the light, but there are some better images of the famed clubhouse coming up. One of the first things I often do when visiting a tourney is to head to the practice area. At the driving range, you can see players hit balls. They often have a coach with them working out small details. Here's a pro practicing his chipping. Note how he placed a tee in the ground where he wants his ball to land. Excellent drill. The putting green is also a wonderful area to hang out 
to learn how the pros practice this super important part of the game. After the pros practice, they are ready to head to the course. Coming up are three golfers teeing off on the first tee. One of the pros is Adam Svensson from Surrey, BC. I knew Adam as a kid and he has done very well on tour. AM starting time. First on the tee. From Surrey, British Columbia, Canada. Please welcome Adam Svensson. That first hole by the clubhouse is awesome. Here's a picture of Ben Hogan teeing off at the first hole in 1950. So much history. Did you notice each golfer, Adam, Joel, and Brian, took two practice swings? They each did the exact same thing. You could do the same thing if you want, but if you do, make sure you hit the ball 300 yards like they did. I just watched Adam Svensson hit a marvelous ball off the first tee at Riviera, and he's right down the middle. And I'm gonna watch him for about nine holes. I always like to do that. Follow a certain player, see how they're doing, and it's, it's a lot of fun. I followed Adam before. He really is a great golfer. Adam hit the green, and he's about to putt for a birdie. much, Adam. <laughs> Let's see what happens on his comeback putt. Nice. Ooh, good putt. Fantastic. Good Adam went on to shoot even par that day, nine under for the tourney, and he finished in ninth place. Pretty good in my books. Watching pro golfers can totally help your game, whether you are watching how to hit a tee shot, getting out of a bunker, or chipping. You will learn lots. Many people want to see the top players like Rory or Tiger. It can be a challenge as there are throngs of people around. Perfect. Here we go. 
The best way to watch a superstar like Tiger is to go out to a hole ahead of time, like the sixth hole for example, and simply wait for him to come. While you are waiting, make sure you hydrate yourself and perhaps indulge in some of the excellent food services. I'm at the Sixth Green Grill. Look at that burger. Wow. Mm. Perfection. Folks, that wraps it up for today's video on how to watch a PGA tourney. One last point though, a golf tourney will provide you with a nice experience, but don't forget to take the time to do other things away from the course. Before I left the city of Santa Monica, I spent some time doing touristy things like going to the Santa Monica Pier. It was a wonderful time. There were so many cool things to do there and the food was awesome. All the best and I'll see you in the next video.